listening to KTQZ, music all through the night. I wonder what people did before they invented coffee. Nobody invented coffee, Bubba. It just was. It's a bean. Yeah, but how long before someone come along and said, let's make coffee out of that bean? Okay, boys, we got four eggs yeah. with bacon and a basket of biscuits for Charlie. Uh -huh. And for you, Bubba, I've got a six-egg omelet. Yeah. This looks good enough to eat. Well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> wonder what people did before they invented English muffins. What? Oh. Hi, everybody. My name's Arthur Andrews. Well, howdy. Yeah, you can call me Art. Or you can call me Andy. You can call me smart or you can call me dandy. But right now, uh, you can call me thirsty. Well, I'm the one you want to see. What can I get for you? Uh, how, about a, how about a coffee, please? Coming right up. How are you doing, Art? Name Bubba. Hi, Bubba. My friend Charlie. Yeah. Hi, Charlie. Pleased to meet you. Uh, yeah. Pretty lady over there is Dixie Lee. Dean. Yeah, she is pretty. She uh. is indeed pretty. There's no question about that. <laughs> you know, there's only one thing I've ever seen. Lady. Your wallets. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. Your wallets. Why don't you put your wallets up there on the table, along with your uh, rings and your your watches and whatever. You too, little lady. This is a joke, right? Do I look like I'm laughing? While you're at it, empty that cash register in the bag. Make it quick, too. I'm late for work. To work? What is this, your hobby? No, no, no. This is what you call moonlighting. I do this from time to time just to pick up a little extra change. I'm what you might call, oh, somewhat of a, a Robin Hood, you know? I steal from the rich and keep it. <laughs> Well, we're not rich. Oh, listen, don't worry about that, honey. I, I steal from the poor, too. And while you're at it, uh, how about that ring and the bracelet and necklace? The earrings, yeah, you, yeah. Why don't you keep the earrings? What's wrong with my earrings? I paid good money for these. Yeah? I'd say you got robbed, honey. Look, let me keep my ring. This was my grandmother's ring. Well, honey, you know, I've always made a practice of not discriminating against people because of their age, okay? Just, just drop them in there, okay? Well, fat men, fat wallets, huh? Thank you, boys. You know, if you didn't have that gun, I'd break you in two. Yeah, but I do have the gun, don't I? You know what? I like having the gun. It gives me a certain uh, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> if you're going to rob us, can you at least do it in English? Well, that just simply means that with the gun, I possess a certain... Uh, credibility that I would not otherwise possess. You see, if I point my finger like this, chances are these boys wouldn't give me half the stuff. You know what I mean? No way. Yeah, I rest my case. That ought to just about do it. This is for the coffee. This is armed robbery. That's a felony. Men get 10 years for that kind of thing. Please don't tell me how to do my job, okay? Matter of fact, the secret to my success is I plan all my capers like a general. My colleagues call me the Napoleon of the illegal entrepreneurs. Well, at least Napoleon kept his hand in his own pocket. <laughs> That's good. I want my grandmother's ring back. Do you? Well, you know what? We don't always get what we want. Except me, of course. Okay, fellas, stand up and take your pants off. What? What did he say? Take off your pants. All right, now, wait just a minute. There's only three good reasons for a grown man to drop his pants, and ain't none of them because another man tells him to. At least not for me. Oh, me neither. Come on, get up. Take off your pants. What do you want? Well, see, by the time they get their pants back on, I'll be in the next county. That's called strategy. I ain't gonna do it. Hey! Look, I got no patience with fat boys. Hey, you leave him alone. You ain't nothing but a low-down, egg-sucking, two-bit thief. <laughs> you know what? You got a big mouth, too. No! I got it! I got it! All right! All right! You know, I never trusted a man with two first names. So you just sit tight, sleazo. Otherwise, I'm gonna sit on you, and you ain't lived until you've had a fat man sit on you. I never thought of that. Look, fellas, wait a minute. 
Why can't we just deal with this like civilized people, okay? Why don't I just drop the little bag right there and we just call it even, okay? Boy, you have got some nerve. I tell you, they should hang you over a pawn shop door. Hey, thanks, guys. I think you just saved our lives. Yeah, well, any time, Dixie. We're going to take this creep down to the sheriff's office so keep the coffee warm, huh? Come on. Yeah. Hey, Art, you know you're entitled to one phone call. It's uh, too bad you can't make it. Look, Dixie, why don't you give me a little break, okay? I mean, I did pay for that coffee, right? That's no way to treat a paying customer. Come yeah. on. Farewell, Napoleon. Yeah, that's, I always like that you do it song. So well. Oh, Gosh. thank you. Stonewall Jackson recorded that years ago. Is that ago. right? Yeah. The first one. And you were great in that. I, I just love your acting. I really do, Dabney. I think you're great. And you know, I just one of the greatest things in my whole life was when we did nine to five, and you played my awful boss, Mr. Hart. Oh, that's where I know you from. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it amazes me, though, every time you play one of those rogues or scoundrels or a thief, whatever you're playing, it's amazing how convincing you are. Well, I hate to disillusion you, Dolly, but uh, that's, that's not acting. Of course it's acting. I've been watching you all week, how nice you've been to the makeup girl. Wendy, you mean? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, just between you and me, I was hitting on Wendy. <laughs> well, I noticed that you picked up the tab at the commissary today for the whole crew. True, that, that's true. I, I, I picked up the tab. I didn't pay it, but I picked it up. Oh, and what about them flowers you sent me? Fake. Well, at least you don't see. That's what you say. Let me have a ring. Oh, now you're cheating. Yeah. What I really want is those earrings. That's something else you don't know about me. Oh, uh, here's something you don't know about me. I don't believe one word you've said. Yeah? Well, can you believe this? Oh, yeah. Now that is something I can believe. Let me squeeze that. Did you? Yeah, I did. Well, listen, I want you to know I'm just crazy about you, and I appreciate you coming being on the show, and Thanks. I know these people all love you, too. Slap. Okay. How about a big hand for Dabney Cole?